So, growing up, man, uh, I was very depressed. Went through a lot of depression. Uh, I couldn't understand it, man. Um, I think a lot of effects came from when I was very young. Um, uh, my dad, he actually said something to me. My dad, he, he plays a big part in my life, uh, especially when it comes to me and my brother's life. And he, he, um, uh, I remember one time we were sitting in the car and uh, he was at this place and I think it was like a gambling hall or something like that. You know, he's upset and he's frustrated and he's angry, he's mad. And um, he comes back in the car. Well, I'm ready to leave, you know, man. I'm like, I'm tired of sitting in the car. I'm tired. And my brother's like, man, you shut up. You know what I'm saying? Chill out. But I'm like, no, when he come back in the car, I'm going to say something to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, like maybe like four or five at this time. I'm like, no, I'm going to say something. And then, and then he gets in the car, he jumps in the car, he's all frustrated and mad, angry. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can see him kind of shaking his own self. And, you know, I'm like, Dad, I'm ready to go. And he's like, he's like, no, no, just chill. And, I, and he's like, just wait. And I'm like, no, I'm ready to go. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, both are like, no, I'm ready to go. And I'm going to let my voice be heard. And he snapped on me, and he's like, no. And I was like, but I want to go home now. And he goes, man, shut up, man. You know what? I wish you I wish you were dead. Yeah, and, and he said that to me, man, and it uh, and it hit me so hard that I, I couldn't believe it, man. I was, like, hurt. You know what I mean? I was, I was torn, like, the person that is my father telling me that he wished I was dead. And it, it affected me tremendously out through my whole entire life to where I wanted just to commit suicide. I wanted to, to die, man. I, I just couldn't accept my life at that point, man. And I cried, man. He jumped out the car, man, and I cried. My brother, he's all frustrated, angry. You know, he's trying to calm me down. And, and but, that, but that effect, man, lasted my whole entire life. And this is one of the reasons why you have to be careful and cautious of what you say to your child because they're watching you and they're listening to you and they know that you take care of them. So you are their role model. You are their idol. And when their idol and role model tears their ass apart, <laughs> it, it, you know what I'm saying? It can have lasting effects. Now, I mean, these effects have lasted, man, almost 22, what, 20 years, I would say about maybe 22 years um, that I've had problems with a lot of stuff like that. When it comes to depression, don't worry, I'm getting better now. This, these videos are what actually helps. So... So as growing up, man, I've just been very oddball person, you know what I'm saying, kind of out, outskirty type person. Um, and, you know, just very depressed, man, very, very, you know what I'm saying, couldn't understand certain things in life. Um, I remember shutting down one time, and I was just like, I was getting in trouble by my mom and upset. And I told her, man, she was, she was, you know, she was trying to help me, but, you know, well, she, take that back, she was actually trying to whoop my ass. <laughs> and... And I remember I was just like, man, call the folks, call the folks on me. I ain't never going to get it right. I ain't never going to get it right. Like, forget it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, man, forget it. Life sucks. This is terrible. You know what I'm saying? Call call CPS, pick me up and take me out. You know what I'm saying? And look, I'm glad, I'm so glad that she didn't make that phone call because what I start finding out about a lot of those individuals, those kids go through so much trauma and stuff and sometimes they, they even get murdered. But that's for another episode. Um, so... As going through this journey, man, as I got a little bit older, man, um, I, I start making these different changes uh, in my life. I started researching more about just about anything, you know what I'm saying? I start looking for the facts, you know what I'm saying? Looking for what's underneath the surface, you know what I'm saying? Just become a real uh, crime investigator, if, if you will. And as I'm going through these things in my life, man, I start to grow out my hair, grow out my facial hair and beard and stuff. But that didn't make me feel any better, you know, that didn't, none of that stuff made me feel, um, any, uh, more motivated, because I thought I had, if I had the dreadlocks, man, I was going to be revived, and life was going to be great, and I'm not going to be depressed anymore, and, and that really didn't happen, you know, um, I actually, it almost made me just look like a caveman, and it just got things worse, um, but I got to a point in my life where, I started to realize that a lot of my family weren't succeeding in the light. Like they were very talented individuals. I mean, community comedians. Um, uh, you also have you know singers in my family. Very intelligent business people. People who have land. People who have success. But it just always seems like they can't get over the hump. So I remember one night I was driving home, 
uh, actually one morning, one morning I was driving home um, from dropping my girl off at work and I was just thinking, man, I was thinking like, what, what's going on? What do they need? What is something? And this information just slapped me and I was like, oh man, this is a perfect blueprint to where I went home one day and I, man, I just wrote a full book in maybe like, maybe like a couple of hours. I wrote a full book, you know, and I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Um, all this information and I just couldn't understand it. Like, where did this come from and why was this even important for me to write? But that book that I wrote um, actually opened me up to new ideas and new opinions uh, that I had to open myself up to. And I started to realize that the world I was actually looking at really wasn't the world that I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it was an illusion. It was, everything was not as real as I thought it was going to be.